Hello again, Reg Techies. Welcome to the only podcast that helps employers and recruiters connect with more candidates through technology inspired conversations. Attracting talent through technology is changing rapidly, and that's why this show exists. This episode is a vendor edition. We are sponsored, of course, by our friends at Brazen. Go big or go home. That's the motto Brazen lives by. It's a show they walk the talk. They're offering Reg Tech podcast listeners an exclusive offer, which includes a $25 Amazon gift card, among other things we know you'll love. As the leading virtual event platform for talent acquisition and HR teams, Brazen is helping some of the top brands in the world like CVS Health, Spectrum, USC, and more connect, engage, and hire great candidates in our all new virtual, virtual world. According to Kathy Hennessy, Executive Director of Talent Acquisition for Advent Health, one of the nation's largest nonprofit health systems, and a Brazen customer, quote, with Brazen, we've seen our times drop by over 10 days since adopting virtual recruiting. When you add that up across the number of hires we do each year, that's significant, and that's 100% because of virtual, unquote. So if you're looking to up, level up your rec- virtual recruiting experience, head over to brazen.com slash RT to get a custom demo, a free guide on how to host a virtual hire event and your $25 Amazon gift card. Now that's big. All right, consolidation is one of the biggest trends among HR technology vendors today. Last month, the recruiting world got some big news that Jobvite will be acquiring both Jazz HR and Next Thing uh, RPO to form what I call a super vendor, having already acquired Telemetry, Rollpoint, and Canvas a couple of years ago. They now form the, quote, most comprehensive provider of talent acquisition and recruiting solutions for organizations of all sizes, spanning from SMBs to global enterprises, unquote. Joining me now to discuss the merger and give us an update is Pete Lampson, their CEO, who was the CEO of Jazz HR and now heads up the uh, combined entity. So Pete, welcome back. It's great to have you again. It's great to be here again, Chris. Thanks so much. Excellent. When we last spoke, you were the head of just one company. Now you've got uh, a whole uh, whole family there uh, around you. What's it, uh, what's it been like since, since the announcement? Uh, so so uh, certainly busy. I think we're on... Uh, are we're coming up on a month, not quite there yet. So it's been a lot of, of kind of learning and, and, and understanding kind of all the, at, at a greater a level, greater detail than we were able to accomplish kind of pre-merger um, on how our, kind of the exciting way that our, our pieces will all fit together. But, but it's, uh, we're really kind of excited for what this is going to mean for for the recruiting marketplace. We think it's a, a very unique strategy that we're embarking upon and and something that's very, you know, th- this is a, a bigger than the current times we are in. We think this is a long standing, long term strategy, but boy, the time is right with uh, the recruiting challenges that that so many businesses are facing right now. Yeah. Where, where did the idea generate from, Pete? I mean, who was it? K1? Was it somebody at, at one of the companies there? Yeah, so so uh, at K1 Investment Management, they're the, the private equity group that's that's behind bringing our three companies together, and and it was their thesis ultimately that 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 allowed this to happen. Um, um, I'd been in touch with K1 uh, for uh, years, and and sort of this has been an ongoing dialogue we've had with them, but the opportunity to bring together technology that is purpose built for small businesses technology that is purpose built for the mid market and enterprise and then support both of those um, uh, solutions with recruiting services powered by next thing so you've got you've got jazz hr an industry leader in the in the small business tech recruiting space you've got job bite uh, an industry leader in mid market and enterprise and and then I, uh, same thing with next thing in the recruitment processing outsourcing industry and this powerful combination of tech and services, so you have not only leading tech, but 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 uh, a, a tremendous team and next thing, providing the services that get bolted to our, our technology solutions is really unique in the space. And and what we like about it is it doesn't require uh, uh, kind of any customer, no matter what their size, to make sacrifices. You're not a, a mid market or enterprise business that's forced to use a, a, a smaller business solution. You're not a small business solution that has to use a high end uh, technology platform with with a, perhaps a higher price tag. Uh, we've got we've got the right solution for each market segment, and again, backing both by services. So 
we think the, uh, the, the, the unique strategy is compelling. Um, uh, we think the teams are, comp uh, you know, we've got the, 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 the tremendous combined human capital ourselves to execute against this strategy. Um, our brands aren't going anywhere. I mean, Jazz HR will remain Jazz HR for small businesses and, and, and job bite for mid-market and enterprise and, and, and certainly next thing for the RPO business. So there'll be a lot of synergies that we bring together that we're mapping out now in terms of how we make this work uh, as seamlessly as it needs to for a compelling customer experience. Mm -hmm. um, but, the, but the individual brands and their market leadership uh, positions will remain. Okay, that was one of my questions. So do you think there'll be like a sort of a, um, a corporate uh, entity that kind of kind of like Alphabet owns Google and a bunch of other stuff? Will you guys yeah. come up with a new name maybe at some point? Uh, so, so, you know, again, the three individual brands will, will, will remain. Our, our, you know, a question we get asked a lot is, well, what is the aggregate name? And, and it's Job Byte. Um, so it's kind of jog, much like Toyota Motor Company is the, is the brand that oversees Lexus and Toyota and so forth. Uh, we'll have that. We have that strategy here, um, and so I, you know, I don't, I don't see a, a large entity like an Alphabet overseeing Google and, and others uh, here. I think it's, it's, um, uh, it'll be a pretty uh, kind of a much smaller um, kind of corporate oversight, if you will, organization. That really, the 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 strength of our organization are in the, the three brands, and again, which will remain independent, but then. The synergies of bringing them to get them together, and how we can offer, for example, job like customers uh, seamlessly offer them uh, recruitment services uh, along with their kind of with the relationship that they have with job bite, um, uh, or how next thing customers, whether they're small business or or large enterprise, will have the the, the powerful solutions of either Jazz HR or job bite, depending on their needs, also at their disposal. We we think the three of these together is is really compelling. And having said that, this is. I mean, we, first, customers are at the center of everything we do. And so we also won't force this upon people. So if, if customers who are using uh, um, JobBite uh, wish to stay solely with JobBite, that's completely fine. There will be no change to existing customer experiences um, uh, unless it's something that they choose to opt into. Again, we think that the compelling combined solution will result in a, in a good percentage of our 10,000 customers doing just that. Um, but but I want to assure any of our existing customers that that it, it, nothing's going to change unless you prefer that it would and take advantage of the other benefits we might be able to offer. Right. How many uh, employees in the new combined company now? About 550. 550, about 10,000 clients combined there. That's right? correct. That's right. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a bold move. It's a big move. I don't think we've ever seen this kind of um, the size of a, of a deal come together in HR tech in its history. I don't think, um, you know, what's the biggest challenge you're going to face with this kind of merger, Pete? It's kind of like a, I kind of uh, likened it to uh, the NBA super teams out there, you know, the Nets getting KD and uh, uh, Kyrie and James Harden, bringing them all together doesn't always mix right away, but uh, what are the biggest challenges you're going to face? Yeah, let, let's hope we get a better outcome than the Nets did as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, you, know, you know, well, so early on, it's sort of what you'd think, right? It's it's okay, we're on different calendar. Like, you know, how do we talk? Literally, how do employees talk to each other cross brand? And these are all things that are being worked through right now, and it'll take a little bit of time for that to simmer down. But there's the there's the obvious uh, uh, situation of, of we're all on disparate communication systems you know we've got three versions of slack and three versions you know calendar setting up calendar meetings is difficult so there's sort of the internal um, nuts and bolts mechanical things that we'll work through and and then beyond that i don't necessarily know that i would call it call it challenges i think it's just it's prioritizing the really uh, uh exciting benefits we're going to be able to offer the market uh, uh, that, that, again, we think are, are no one else can offer, right? It's this, this combination of technology and, and services. And especially when you can't off open a newspaper or turn on a, a business news television uh, station right now without reading about how difficult it is to hire people to the point where some companies' growth are being limited yeah. um, by, by hiring. I was, I was reading an article yesterday about, about uh, uh, hotels perhaps only not being able to offer at 100% open at 100% capacity because of staffing shortages, which, you know, first COVID now this and 
And again, this is where we think that that not only technology, but having recruiters to out actually work on our customer's behalf will help as well. So it's to your question, it's going to be, you know, you know, you can't do everything all at once. So where do we see the, the, the biggest bang for our customers, the most impact, prioritize those first and then and then continue to um, to bring these synergies um, together. You know, we've we've got uh, you know, kind of some other things we haven't talked about yet. Um, Jazz HR, laser focused on the small business space. Um, we tend to the, the sort of the, the where customers begin to need a, a more robust solution than Jazz HR. Sometimes is you know roughly between 500 and 1,000 employees. Well, now we are able to we'll be able to seamlessly path those customers to Jobbyte. That is that more robust solution they're looking for, and we can we'll be able to do so with no loss of customer data or or history. So all of their uh, their, their candidates and all, all of the information that is stored within Jazz HR will flow seamlessly to Jobvite should that customer choose to move to a more robust solution than Jazz HR's SMB focused solution today. So yeah. uh, all of this is work in front of us. Um, it, it all will be to the benefit of our customers. And uh, so we're excited to get, to get after that. So it's more, um, there's so many opportunities we've got to we've got to prioritize, as, which we think are exciting, as opposed to what the challenges may be. Gotcha. Um, your your sales teams you can kind of cross train them to you know promote each other's products. Uh, to talk to me a little about how you're going to uh, integrate sales into uh, all these different entities. Yeah, really good question. So so kind of as we talked about, our brands will remain separate. So. You know, to that end, our Jazz HR sales team will remain our Jazz HR sales team, and our Job Byte team will remain our Job Byte team, and next thing and so forth. Having said that, um, there are times when uh, organizations will reach out to Jazz HR. Perhaps they're not super familiar with the, with the solution that Jazz HR offers, where really the better fit for that company would be Job Byte. You know, if we've got a an enterprise level uh, uh, customer uh, or prospective customer reaching out to Jazz HR, um, those th those opportunities, you know, to help to better serve those customers will be path to the more appropriate solution. So that the Jazz HR salesperson wouldn't necessarily work on the the job bite sale in that case. We would we would transition that with the customer's sort of approval and seamlessly to job bite. And then the counter is true, right? So you've got you may have a uh, uh, a small business with with 100 employees reaching out to to Jobbyte, and perhaps that better solution for that customer is uh, is Jazz HR. So we will, you know, we will seamlessly um, vector those those inquiries to to the right prospective solution. And and to be fair, um, number of employees is not the only determining factor. Certainly, the the complexity or needs of a particular prospective customer's recruiting in-house recruiting practices uh, also plays a large part in 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 what the right solution is for them. So there's things, uh, you know, just looking at at employee count is is perhaps an oversimplification, although they they do tend to correlate. Um, but it's it's our our primary goal will be to get. Uh, uh, customers who have interest in exploring either Jazz HR or Jobbyte to the kind of the, the solution that's going to be best for them. But I think you'll, we'll keep our sales teams focused on the brands they're, they're actively selling today, just for product knowledge and expertise perspective. Yep. Uh, you, you mentioned hiring is quite a challenge today for many employers out there. What, what are your customers telling you right now as far as what they're seeing in the market? Uh, and what are you telling them too, as in terms of advice? Yeah, it that it, it, I mean, hiring is as I mean, really no different than what you read in the newspapers, right? It's just it's as difficult as it ever has been. I think there was this notion that we all had that when COVID began to perhaps dissipate and the economic uh, climate pro was performing better, as as we're now seeing, that uh, coupled with higher unemployment rates. Um, that that the problem would sort of take care of itself. And, and the reality is that has not necessarily happened. And it's for a number of reasons. I mean, first year, um, the the industries that were hardest hit by COVID um, uh, are not, you, you know, you look at you look at retail and and hospitality and restaurants and so forth. Um, those industries certainly are struggling to 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 get employees back. And I think there's probably some still lingering concern, health, health and uh, related concerns and 
um, on the professional, on the on the more prof called professional side. Um, um, you know, I, I think that that and this is sort of a, a well told tale at this point, but I, I think this 14 month period that we all experienced, you know, it wasn't just like a month and then we were back to normal over 14 months, how we all adopt adapted to, to managing through this became ingrained. So all of a sudden, childcare uh, is, is a real issue for employees and, and, and where, where, you know, that problem was, was generally or comparatively speaking uh taken care of pre-covid it's it's now a real issue where where that's preventing uh sadly in particular women's ability to to go back to work and we've seen a, a big exodus of, of women from the marketplace and and i think over time this will get resolved and there, we're in a transitory period right now but but it all of these things are are you know driving this labor shortage and, and another small part of it is the flight to digital that was certainly underway um, uh, prior to COVID and that has been accelerated in all areas of our life um, continues. It's not slowing down any, and that's creating a need for more employees and employees of a particular skill set. Um, the one of the areas we hear almost universally is that recruiting for engineers right now is really, really tough. And and not only in the US, but globally. And and um, and so this is you know, all the more reason that we think the timing is so right for for the solution that we're bringing here, which is again, it's 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 industry leading, compelling, data driven technology, but then the arms and legs to recruit on a company's behalf as well, and and we can get spun up pretty quickly to to help a company meet their their recruiting needs. So it's a tough market out there, and we hope we can help. Yeah. Um, uh just talking to other vendors in the space, they all seem to say that uh, since January, they've seen just an influx of companies requesting demos and, and bringing a new HR tech. Have you seen that yourself? And uh, I imagine it's a, it's a good thing for the, for the space, right? Yes, I mean, we, we you know, it's, it's a, uh, it is a good time to be in the recruiting business. Um, um, so we, we have experienced the same thing at, at, at all three of our brands. Um, um, but it's also not something that we, I mean, these are, you know, while we're pleased for the, the impact on our business, this is not, it's a responsibility that we take very, very seriously. And, and these challenges are real. And, and if, again, like we talked about a few minutes ago, if you're, if your inability to hire is impacting your company's growth, this, that all of a sudden makes hiring, you know, the most important thing uh, that a company is tackling. And so that's a, an important responsibility and, and we're excited to, to help our customers uh, improve their recruiting performance. Yeah. Uh, take, uh, I was just thinking, take, take me back to the moment when, I guess it was, if it was K1, they called you, say, Pete, do you want to be the new CEO of the combined company? What was that phone call like for you? Well, it was, it was, it was, uh, it, you know, there wasn't necessarily that moment. I mean, at some point, yes, the, the decision gets made, but it, it had been a conversation. Um, and, and and I'm 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 humbled and 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 privileged to to be playing the role that I am. But we've got a a terrific team um, and uh, across all three of our brands. And you know we've got a lot of natural leaders and a lot of entrepreneurs who are pushing all three of our businesses forward individually and collectively. And so to be a part of the the team that is working so hard to improve results for all of our customers is uh, it's a, a, a tremendous honor and, and, and responsibility and something that I'm uh, uh, excited to work hard on every day. But it's, I mean, ultimately it's the team that's gonna get us there collectively. And we're, I'm very grateful that we have the folks on board that we do. Yeah. Uh, when did you, uh, I remember Jazz HR used to be the resonator. Mm -hmm. When, what point did you come in and did you, be part of the name change or your history? No, I, I joined in, I joined Jazz HR at the tail end of 2015. Okay. And so I've been there a little over five years. Um, and if memory serves correctly, the move away from the Resumator brand was, I think it was in 2014. Um, so it, the Resumator brand it, it, it had been uh, uh, moved away from long before my arrival. 
Um, and uh, and so it wasn't a, we originally were jazz.co and 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 uh, uh, the team here, the new team here that arrived in, in late 2015 or early 2016 did kind of evolve that from jazz.co to jazzhr.com. Um, but the Resumator brand has, had been gone for, for some time at that point. Yeah. Pete, what have you learned in that time in terms of, uh, you know, uh, if you're giving advice to a new HR tech startup today about how to succeed in this business? Uh, well, I'll, I'll maybe some 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 broad advice first, and then and then more specific to recruiting. Um, you, you know, I, I when I was in business school, I had an organizational behavior professor, uh, and this was twenty five ish, somewhat twenty five years or so ago, who would say, you know, you may not think this now, but this class is ultimately going to be the most important class for your career, and 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 he was right and it's it is all about the people and making certain that you have the right people in the right role with the skills to accomplish the the mission you're setting out on and so uh, my first piece of advice were, were would be to make certain that you surround yourself with with the right team and i've been so fortunate um over the last five years at jazz hr and frankly earlier in my career as well um that we've been able to do that. And we have such a, a talented team. And now, it, you know, the, the, the mission is uh, expanded further with job by the next thing. And, and, and my thoughts are the same. We're in the early days, but my thoughts are the same thing there on the folks I, I, I'm meeting from those teams. Um, uh, specific to recruiting, um, I would say that, 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 you know, everything that we put in place in technology is is a means to an end and that end is is better qualities of hire faster and at a at a price point that the market will bear and and so it's it's it can be easy to be caught up in the latest sort of buzzword bingo and 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 technology but but at, at the end and, and i'm not in any way belittling technology technology is critical to achieving all three of those objectives um but don't lose sight of at the end of the day it's quality hires faster at a, at a price point that the market feels is fair and and if you focus on on the outcome of those three things for your customer base um, again, you're going to use technology to get there for sure, but, but there's, but, and this isn't unique to, to recruiting or to HR, you know, true of any industry, there's always kind of the latest fad and the latest hot buzzwords and, and avoid the temptation to I mean, explore those things, but don't chase them unless they really will ad ad advance that, that ultimate, you know, why, why you're there for your customers is, is those things are hows. It's how you get there. But the what is quality hires faster at a reasonable price. And so that would be my my focus. And that's something that we've we've really focused on at, at Jazz HR and we'll continue to do so now with with a larger company. Yeah. Any new uh, product announcements coming up? Uh, always. Um, I think probably the the, uh, the the most exciting one for, and this is a, a, a Jazz HR product announcement, but we've just announced an integration with Zoom. Um, so okay. that all, you know, a, a, again, even though the pandemic is winding down and offices are gradually uh, starting to reopen, I think that remote work is here to stay and 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 uh, and video interviews are, a, uh, are, are gonna be here forever and always a part of our life. So we're excited to launch uh, to to announce a, a partnership with Zoom to enable all of our customers to to uh, to use Zoom for their video video interviews. So that's that's uh, coming out next week, and and uh, and I know there's more to come from Jobbyte. So stay tuned for that. Excellent. Uh, I assume you're all hiring. Uh, you want to give a quick uh, shout yeah. out to your hiring plans? So we are we are. That's a great point. We are hiring uh, in all offices, which are uh, in Pittsburgh, in Boston, and in Indianapolis. Uh, as well as remotely and, and for virtually all teams. So sales, marketing, product, engineering, customer support, uh, finance, um, business intelligence. Kind of, and um, so it's a, uh, like we talked about earlier, it's, it's a good time to be in the recruiting business. And, 
and uh, we need talented kind of hard charging smart people to to help us achieve our 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 lofty goals of of delighting customers there you go kind of recruiting okay. results so so if you're in any of those locations or remotely um visit visit job bite uh job bites website jazz hr's website next things website and and you'll see links to all of our job applications there appreciate that we appreciate your time today my last questions uh HR Tech is going to be in person this year. Are you going? We will be there, and I will be there. Excellent. Well, uh, we'll definitely uh, see you on the floor there. Well, again, thanks again, Pete, and it was great catching up, and uh, good luck with the new uh, new venture, and uh, we'll be watching. Thanks, Chris. All right, that will do for this episode of the RecTech Podcast. Be sure to follow us on the socials, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, via the at RecTech Media handle. See every podcast, video, and blog we publish. And by the way, if you want the... Uh, video version of this podcast, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just search for Rec Tech Media on there and hit the subscribe button. Shout out again to my sponsor, Brazen. Be sure to check them out for their virtual job fairs. Thanks for listening and watching. Remember, always be recruiting.